Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, year 11. You will be year 11 at this point, I would imagine. I'm still doing your sports day, so you guys are currently year 10, obviously, but you'll be watching this when you're in year 11, I hope, as access to helpful revision techniques from myself uh, to help you going forward. The first one is about six mark and nine mark answers. Okay, so six markers, just to remind you, six markers are very important. You'll have two in every exam. That's you know, multiple, multiple marks that could give you a grade extra. And nine markers, you'll have a couple of them in each paper too. One of them worth 12 marks for spelling, punctuation, and grammar. Okay, now for six markers, it's pretty simple. I would treat every peel paragraph like a mini three marker. So in six markers, you need two peel paragraphs and in nine markers, you're gonna need three, okay? So for a six marker, it all depends on the command word, really, but I would say your best bet, if it says use the figure, your first peel should use the figure, okay? So you get it out of the way. Your second peel can then bring in your own understanding, can then bring in your own case studies. In terms of a nine marker, you will need a case study for that whether it's the rainforest, whether it's the tar desert, whether it is natural or enhanced, uh, natural or human climate change. You'll need your case studies and you'll need, you'll need your specifics. Now for a six marker, no intro, no conclusion. Literally, peel, peel, okay? If it says something about the environment and the economy, then it stands to reason that the first peel must be about one of them and the second peel must be about the other. If it says about uh, social and economic factors. You can't do two socials, otherwise you won't get the top band. You capped at four. So it's very important that you look at both sides of the argument, if it's a six marker, both components of the question, the figure and your own understanding. For a nine marker, that can vary. Often it's balanced. So if the question says to what extent, look at both sides of the argument. If the question says assess the challenges, then you assess the challenges. I've always said to you, the most important thing you can do is read the question carefully, especially for a six and nine marker. In fact, what I would do for a six and nine marker is annotate the question itself. It's worth that 30 seconds to break it down, right all over the question to make sure you fully understood what is expected of you. Okay, so for a nine marker, it's going to be a very brief introduction. I always say two sentences is all you need. So the first one should say your opinion, if it asks for that, and the second one should be your case study, introducing it. So, uh, for example, I believe that opportunities outweigh the challenges of the desert. My case study is the tar desert. So that's like your two sentences. Then you do peel, peel, peel. So it's normally two on one side, one on the other, but it can be three on challenges, three on opportunities, whatever the question may say. Now for you guys pushing for the top marks, because you're very, very, very bright. So you guys pushing for those top marks, I would say your peel, your explanation is at least two sentences. Don't take a million hours on it. Your point is one sentence, always. Your evidence is one sentence. You can get a, you can get a nine mark out of nine with just one evidence in each paragraph. It's about how you explain that. So your point is the point you're making. One opportunity in the tar desert is. One adaptation in the rainforest is. One cause of climate change that's natural is. That's your point, one sentence. Your evidence is proving that. So this is where, this is why, you know, give some numbers, earthquakes, for example, give some numbers of deaths if it asks that. Then your explanation is basically explaining your point. This is the challenge because, this is an opportunity because, this is good because, this is bad because, this was a problem because. Um, you explain it and that's where you can do more than one sentence at a time. So you can explain it in more detail because don't forget that top band is detailed. And then your nine marker ends with a conclusion. So a very brief overall summary where once again, I would stress your opinion, where once again, you reinforce your opinion. Therefore, I believe that. Therefore, this shows that. Just to link it all off, because in, you know, obviously you've linked in every paragraph as well after the explanation. So that's just how I would structure six and nine markers. Your best way is to keep practicing them, keep practicing them, keep practicing them, and you'll get better at it. Until next time, catch you later.